Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you today a little uh, jig I uh, designed in Fusion 360 and made on my 3D printer. Uh, it's a reference square for my Shapeco Pro CNC machine. Uh, I'm not the first guy to come up with this idea, but this is my take on the idea. Um, what we have here is uh, we're mounting the reference square to the T-rails, T-slots, whatever you want to call them, on the spoil board. So that comes out, uh, and here's our, here's our jig. It's made out of three different pieces. So we've got a short rail, a long rail, and then the actual square. So these are printed individually on a 3D printer. And then, um, yeah, we glue them together. So the way we do that is we put the rails in the slots put a, a little uh, couple of drops of uh, super glue on them, put the activator on the rail, and uh, we turn the screws down so that lifts the rails up so they're as high as, as, as they're going to be. And then we, uh, we set the square down on it. Two seconds, it's all, it's all set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, it can go in your T-slots, any... <laughs> Any T slots you need it to. Why won't it go on this one? There we go. Uh, we've got a little damage on the spoil board here, so it's a little bit of a bugger getting it in here. But I can show you that when we have clean T slots, it slides slides right in. Once it's in, um, just a couple of turns on the grub screws, set screws whatever you call them in your part of the world. And it is set rock solid. It's not going to move. So now you can uh, set a workpiece. Zero off the bottom left corner. Your CNC machine, CNC machine should hold that zero for a real long time several projects months i don't know maybe forever uh i've never never lost a zero once i had it set um now a power failure or something like that that might be a different story but uh um never experienced that out here so um yeah so now you can remove your workpiece add another workpiece start another project or maybe you are doing a batch uh, or you're doing repetitive, putting the same uh, piece of stock in over and over again, or, or similar pieces of stock. Uh, and you can just start your job over and over again without having to re-zero every time. So yeah, I'm going to put the STL files uh, up on my Etsy shop for, uh, oh, let's say two bucks. So if you want to download the STL files and print your own for $2, you can do that. Uh, if you like the idea and would like to have one of these, but you don't have a 3D printer, um, I'll put the whole assembly on the Etsy store as well. And I would say for 25 bucks, including shipping, I'll print you one out and send it to you. Um, Got to charge you something. I'm a capitalist. What can I say? Plus, I've got materials, and it does take a, a few hours uh, of printer time to get it done. So I think $25 is fair. Um, and again, $2 for the SDL files if you want to print your own. It'd be three files, one for that rail, one for that rail, and one for the square. Uh, if you're a maker, you're familiar with Etsy. And uh, yeah, I could put them on Thingiverse and give them away for free. But like I say, I'm a capitalist and I like to support Etsy because I use them a lot. Um, great place to go if you need artwork or whatnot for your projects. So yeah, there it is. That's my uh, reference square for the Shapeco Pro. Now I'm not uh, not real familiar with the new, I think it's the Shapeco 5, the new version uh, that came out, of course, 
right after I bought my uh, Shapeco 4. Um, but I do believe it's using the same style of uh, wasteboard with the T-slots. As long as they are 100 millimeters center to center, this will work. As long as the dimensions of the, of the extrusions are the same, this will work. Um, yeah, so we can look at that real quick. If you have a Shapeco 5, and are wondering what these dimensions are, in millimeters, the inside of the T-slot is 17 millimeters by, well, this comes up 9.6, I imagine it's 10. Yeah, 10 millimeters. So again, that's uh, 17 by 10. And then the, the center slot is nine. And then again, center to center is 100 millimeters. Okay, so if you have a Shapeco 5 and your dimensions are the same, oh, and the, from the wasteboard to the top of the T slot, uh, looks like I'm getting 5.7. I s imagine that's supposed to be 6. Yeah, 6 millimeters. So as long as those dimensions are the same on your Shapeco 5, this should work. Um, if you like the idea, uh, again, uh, check out the links below. Um, either the STL files, you can print your own, or I will print one out for you and ship it to you continental United States. There we go. Hey, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.